Two years after suffering through one of the worst natural disasters on record, vast numbers of Haitian people are still struggling just to return to something resembling normal life. In Port-au-Prince, the nation's capital, thousands are still living in tent city under sheets of canvas or plastic. Rubble is everywhere and destroyed homes litter the mountainsides. The National Palace stands in ruin. The dollars contributed to the American Library Association's Haiti Library Relief Fund are making a difference, but the need is so overwhelming that the association has to focus these efforts on specific, sustainable projects. Contributors have donated $55,000 for library reconstruction, and $35,000 has already been dispersed. The Haitian Open Society Foundation, FOCAL, has received $10,000 from the fund, which was used to purchase property for the construction of a new library for the Pie Poudre Cultural Center in Port-au-Prince. The Bibliothèque Haitienne des Pères du Saint-Esprit, the oldest library in Haiti, received $5,000, which helped construct a temporary facility to house its archives, all of which was salvaged after the quake. Focal has funded several libraries, most recently the Darbon Library in Leogan, which was at the epicenter of the quake and roughly 90% destroyed. The library stands like an oasis of hope in a devastated community. It's uh, mostly about empowerment. It's about um, trying to help people help themselves. It's not creating libraries in abstraction and telling to the population, here is your brand new libraries. It's much more about looking for existing projects in community that are working, that are maybe struggling because they, they need some help. Bibliothèques Sans Frontières, Libraries Without Borders, a French non-governmental organization dedicated to building libraries, takes a similar approach, encouraging community commitment. The Haitian American Institute, a school and cultural center with some 2,500 students, has broken ground for a new library building. The earthquake destroyed a historic library on the campus, but the collection was saved. Actually, we are in the process behind you of rebuilding a space where we're going to have a temporary library and very nice building behind you, which will be ready before the end of the year. The Bibliothèque Nationale, National Library of Haiti, withstood the earthquake and is fully functioning, with IT staff working on digitization projects to preserve the nation's heritage, including the Digital Library of the Caribbean. Document. Donc, nous commençons à faire l'inventaire de ce que nous avons dans les villes de province qui abritent les annexes de la Bibliothèque Nationale. Et dans un deuxième temps, nous allons à la bibliothèque mère de Port-au-Prince voir si nous pouvons passer à la numérisation. Nous avons beaucoup de documents anciens qui sont entreposés dans des conditions précaires et nous allons commencer aussi tout de suite à l'informatisation de notre fichier pour donner accès aux lecteurs et remplacer le fichier manuel par euh, des fichiers informatisés. In a country like Haiti, we are on the four. We can have any natural disaster. And if you want to preserve all documents, all information that we have in the National Library, and my eyes, it's very important to use the digitization because you can save all the information somewhere else instead of the National Library. The National Library has received $20,000 from ALA's Haiti Library Relief Fund for a new library in Petit Guave, a town that was virtually leveled by the quake. Representatives of the National Library are trying to raise upwards of $300,000. Jean Midley Joseph, director of the library in Petit Guave, says the children love to read. They are Haiti's future, and American librarians and educators can have a profound effect on that future. For kindergartners, the earthquake is ancient history. That's why it's vital that it be restored. And people in need, a Czech non-governmental organization, is helping to raise the money. Deborah Lazar, librarian at New Trier High School in Northfield, Illinois, is also raising money for Haiti Library Relief and for a private school in Petit Guave that is already rising from the rubble. Every dollar helps in these ongoing efforts, but we still have a long way to go before we can claim success. This is Leonard Kniffel reporting for American Libraries Magazine from Port-au-Prince, Haiti.